Investment accounts in iBank5 reflect your real-life brokerage accounts and are used to record all investment transactions related to securities, retirement accounts, bonds, options, ETFs, and more. By tracking and categorizing these transactions carefully, iBank will help you better understand your investment's performance over time. Setting up an investment account in iBank is easy, but slightly different than setting up a bank account like a checking account. Click the plus button above the source list and choose Add Account. Choose Account at a Bank, Credit Union, or Other Financial Institution. Click Next. Type the first few letters of the name of your financial institution to find it on the list. Click Next. To learn more about the various download methods that are available when setting up a new account, see the Account Setup Tutorial video at iggsoftware.com. I'm going to use direct access for my investment account. When you've logged into your institution, iBank will show you the accounts available to download. Choose whether each is an investment account or a 401k. We'll choose investment account for this example. You can also change the name of the account and possibly the currency depending on the download method you chose. Your account is now set up. After you finish setting up your account, review iBank's securities list to make sure all the relevant information about your securities was downloaded. You may need to add security names or change the security type and risk level. In the information pane below, you can edit the securities information. The name of the security, its ticker symbol, iBank uses the symbol to download quotes for the security via the internet. The type of security, iBank will retrieve quotes automatically for stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, and indices when you click the Update Everything button on the toolbar, prices for other types of securities, and for securities that aren't listed on Yahoo Finance can be entered manually using the price history chart below. If your security type is bond, you'll get an additional field for par value. If it's a stock option, you'll get an additional field for contract size. The level of risk involved with holding the security, ranging from the relatively low risk inflation hedge to the comparatively high risk growth option. The currency in which the security is traded. The currency must be the one used by the exchange on which the security is traded. Setting it to something different can cause miscalculations when iBank downloads quotes. And any additional notes you'd like to record for future reference. Now let's take a look at the account register. Select your investment account in the source list to view the transactions it contains. iBank downloaded your current holdings and as much of your transaction history as possible. If a complete history was not available, however, the cost basis for the securities in that account is likely to be incorrect. To check if your cost basis is complete, choose Account Fix Cost Basis. If there are any shares that have gaps in their history, they'll appear in a list. For each security that appears in the list, click the Edit button and iBank will prompt you to enter its cost details. You can either average the original purchase price of the missing shares and record them as a single lot, or you can enter multiple lots with different share prices. Enter the date on which the shares were purchased, the number of shares bought, and whatever price details you have, the total cost of the purchase, the amount of commission paid, and or the price paid per share. Use a statement from the financial institution or look up the transaction history on its website to make sure the dates and amounts are correct for each lot. Click Continue to record the lot. If you have not accounted for all the missing shares of the security in question, iBank will prompt you to enter another lot. Once all the shares have been accounted for, iBank will show you a list of the lots you recorded. If any changes need to be made, click the Edit button next to the lot to adjust or delete it. When all the details are correct, click Done to return to the list of securities with missing cost basis information. Once you've recorded the cost basis for all securities in the list, click Done to return to the main window. Each time you buy or sell shares, receive a dividend, transfer cash in or out of your brokerage account, receive a capital gains distribution, etc., a transaction should be created in your investment account to record that action. Transactions in an investment account are different from transactions in a checking or savings account. Under the type heading, note all of the different transaction types that pertain to the investments. Buy, sell, 
dividend and interest income, for example. The security column contains the name of the security or its ticker symbol. If you add a name or ticker symbol for the first time, iBank will ask you to configure some additional options in the Create New Security window. The next column contains fields for the price per share paid as the result of a purchase or dividend reinvestment or collected as the result of a sale, the amount of commission paid to a broker to conduct the transaction, the cash value of a dividend, interest income, capital gains distribution, or return of capital distribution. The withdrawal column shows the cash amount of the transaction, indicating a negative value. The deposit column shows the cash amount of the transaction, indicating a positive value. Withdrawals or deposit figures are calculated automatically when buying or selling shares of a security, and the funding distribution property is set to cash. More on this in a minute. Shares in and shares out display the number of security shares added or deducted from your portfolio as a result of the transaction. The balance represents a running total of the account's overall cash value, showing each transaction's effect on the total. This field is automatically calculated by iBank and cannot be edited. Note that this balance represents cash held in your brokerage account only. The market value of shares you own is not included here. It'll be shown under the account's name on the source list and in any investment reports you generate. Each transaction also has a drop-down menu to set the funding distribution type. This is the source of funding for a purchase, or the means by which funds are distributed after a sale, receipt of a dividend, or other investment transaction that generates income. The cash option means cash is deducted from the brokerage account and used to buy shares, or cash was deposited from the sale of shares into the brokerage account. This option is also used for dividends, interest income, and other transaction types iBank will automatically calculate the amount of cash withdrawn or deposited using the price per share, number of shares added or deducted, and commission you enter. The transfer option means cash is deducted from another account and used to buy shares, or cash is deposited from the sale of shares into another account. This option is also used for dividends, interest income, and other transaction types. Use the category field to indicate which account the cash should be withdrawn from or deposited into iBank will automatically calculate the amount of cash transferred using the price per share, number of shares added or deducted, and commission you enter. Reinvest is only available for dividends, interest income, and capital gains distributions. Use this option to indicate the cash received was used to purchase additional security shares. Enter the price per share and number of shares added or deducted in the appropriate fields. The price, multiplied by the number of shares, must equal the amount of the dividend interest income. Finally, there are two built-in reports, Portfolio Summary and Investment Summary, that are used to view your current holdings and analyze your investment performance respectively. For more information on this topic, view the Investments section in the iBank Help Documents.